here. President Trump hasn't delivered on the promises he made to the American people, and your, your two guests alluded to that just a moment ago. You know, our health care system is falling apart. He's had no replacement. Um, people with pre-existing conditions are increasingly being denied access to health care. You've got Senator Mitch McConnell saying that, you know, because of these $2 trillion in tax cuts that they gave to corporations and the wealthy, they now want to cut Social Security and Medicare, something that Donald Trump promised he would not do. There is no infrastructure plan on promise after promise that is important mm. to working class people in this country. The president hasn't delivered. So what does he want to do? He wants to distract you and scare you, as your previous guest said, uh, by imagining an invasion coming from our southern border. This inflammatory rhetoric is incredibly divisive and dangerous and creates fear in this country. And we've seen it. And it creates violent reactions among some. So I think the president is being unbelievably irresponsible in his language about what's happening south of our border. And the only reason he's introducing active duty military to it is to ramp up that fear. If you're claiming there's an invasion, well, send the active duty military down there because that proves it. This is an incredible waste of resources. Do you think he's playing, playing politics with enlisted soldiers? I don't think there is any question about it. We have had, last in, in fiscal year 2018, 400,000 people uh, attempted to cross the borders um, in an unauthorized fashion. The Border Patrol was able to handle that. Now, we've got a series of caravans, but by best estimate, the only one that's reasonably close to us has about 1,000 to 2,000 people, half of whom are children. Our current Border Patrol can absolutely handle that, number one. Number two, it is not an invasion. It is people seeking asylum. I got an email today from the, the, I don't know, America First group. I'm somehow on their email list telling me that there's this invasion coming to our southern border full of terrorists and murderers and the worst people. That is completely untrue, but that is Donald Trump's right-wing fear-mongering message to cover over the fact that he hasn't delivered on the promises.